up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashion Nisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And if you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my video. Today, I want to start this new thing where I give you guys entrepreneur tips or tips on starting your business. So I think I'm going to start this thing called Entrepreneur Life Tip Tuesday. Let me know what y'all think about that down below. But today, my tips for you are going to be on creating your own clothing tags and your own stickers at home using Avery paper and your in-home printer. It's super easy. It saves a lot of money. It saves you a lot of time and it just helps you learn more about graphics and more about how to do things on your own without having to call people like Vistaprint and other services like that. They are good. Don't get me wrong. I've used them before, but learning how to do things on your own can just be really helpful. So let's get right into the video. Oh, and don't mind how I'm looking today. I got these little braids under here. They not ready to come down yet. <laughs> okay, so for the clothing tags, this is the Avery paper that I'm going to be using. It's number 8859. And it's the glossy white business cards. So we're just basically using something that's meant for one thing to use it for something else. Okay. And this is what I'm going to be using for my brown stickers. It's number 22807. And Avery makes it very easy for you to go in, go to their website, tell them what number template you have, like what number this is. You'll just put that in, upload your photo, and print it out just like that. Okay, what I'm going to do first is go to avery.com. And I suggest creating your account so you don't lose anything. So, in my account, I already have projects saved. And you can see that it's saved with the template number as well. First, I'm going to create, show you guys how to create a template from the start. So I'm gonna click new project. Then I'm just gonna type in the number that I have and I'm gonna do the circle label. And it pops up with that product that I have. Select this template. Now I'm just gonna upload my own image by using this button here. Okay, now that I have my template loaded in, I want to point out to you guys that if you are trying to resize your image, you wanna make sure that this is not locked or you won't be able to change things how you would like. For me, I have a circle, so I want them to be locked, but if it was something, a different shape, you probably will want to unlock these. So I'm just gonna lock this back and you're gonna just drag your image to the size that you would like. Of course, not going outside of the safety area. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna click at the bottom. You probably can't see it on my screen recording, but I'm gonna click preview and print. And this just shows me what my stickers are gonna look like when they print out. You can either let Avery print them out for you and ship them to you, or if you have your Avery paper, you can print them yourself. So I'm gonna click print it, print it yourself. Print all, and I'm gonna click get PDF to print. It suggested that I save it. So I'm just gonna save this as round stickers. That's why it's important that you create an account so that you can be able to save this. You won't have to keep going through this every time you want to print them out. So now it just gives me some tips and I'm gonna click download PDF allow to download and this is what it gives me so now all I have to do is load the paper into the printer and print it out as a regular document so let's get to the printer so this is the printer I have 
just so you guys know. Now I'm gonna load my round sticker paper inside of the printer. Then we're just gonna go to the computer and print as normal. got some really nice stickers show you guys <clears throat> they have a shine to them they're not dull really nice stickers to place on your packaging for extra marketing really nice so that's how you make your own stickers using Avery paper now we're gonna move on to the clothing okay so now we're gonna move on to printing our tags it's the same way is printing your round sticker labels, just a different template that you have. Um, I don't have anything on the back of mine, but I do have a design on the front. And it's the exact same way if you wanna go in to resize the um, design that you have, you'll just go back, resize it, and come back to this place here and preview and print. Print it for yourself, and it's gonna create that PDF for you download the pdf and now it pops up now all i have to do is load the paper into my printer and print this out so let's go do that okay so now i'm going to load my paper into the printer once again it's number 8859 and i'm going to go to the computer and print it as normal okay so these are my product tags and how they're looking they look really good they don't have a matte finish it's more of a gloss finish so i'm going to show you guys to the best of my ability with one hand how to remove these okay so this is how one looks and if you're going to be making your own tags i also want to note that you will need a tag gun to go along with it i'll link the one that i bought down below so you guys can look at that purchase that for yourself but this is the tag gun and it comes with these little clear thingies it comes with extra ones as well and it also comes with extra needles so i'm going to show you guys how to use this really quick and then that'll be it for us okay so i'm going to use this sweater as an example you just want to choose a spot where you would like the tag to go stick your tag gun through Take the needle through and just push. Now your garment is tagged. It looks really professional. It's another way to market your brand. Okay, Flavor Squad, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informative for you. And I hope that I explained it very well so that you may understand. If there's anything that you guys would like to see, if there are any questions that you guys would like for me to answer, feel free to comment them down below. Uh, make sure you like, make sure you comment for the squad down below. Let me know that you're here. And make sure you subscribe. Don't leave here without subscribing and turning on your notification bell, okay? All right, y'all. That's all I have for you. Make your curls pop and your grind never stop. I'm out of here.